the handle's plan. Who does Peter Sand think he is? Robert Sand. He goes gallivanting off to Wales, and when our new engine isn't ready, he's brought back. We can manage without him. We're short-engined until the new one is ready, said Scarlowy. It's sensible to have him back. <laughs> Snorted Sandal rudely. If he's too puffed up in his smoke box, I know what I shall do. When the thing controller told Peter Sand to rest after his journey, Sir Handel was not pleased. What's the good of coming home just to lay him out all day? Sandal grunted. He popped his coach's crossling. Near the shed, he thought he saw Peter Sand grinning at him. Right, muttered. Rail joint. There was a crack and a clatter, and his driver stopped him quickly. That's your day done, he said. Your fire bars have collapsed and your fire's fallen out. Sir Andal chuckled to himself. His plan was working well. Rusty was the only engine available quickly. He took Sir Handel's train, and the thin controller came to see Peter Sam. Sorry to spoil your rest, he said, but I'm afraid you'll have to take Sir Handel's next train. Some of Sir Handel's fire was rescued and put into Peter Sam's firebox. As soon as Peter Sam could move, he pushed Sir Handel into the shed. Sir Handel didn't help at all. He just smirked himself in the darkness. That'll teach them. Days passed. No one came to Mensa. Visitors thronged to see Peter Sam now that he was back. Everyone else was very busy. Oh dear, thought Sir Andal sadly. I didn't bargain for this. He grew cold, and his paintwork became dull. Cleaners were much too busy making sure the working engines looked smart to worry about Sir Handel. He heard men working on the new engine, but they didn't come to see him. They had no time either. One day the sound of cheering came to the workshop. They must have finished the new engine, Sir Handel muttered miserably. I wish I could see him. And just then, the door at the back of the shed opened. And Sir Handel had footsteps. It was the thin controller. Hello, he said. Why are you looking so fed up? I'm sorry, sir. Whatever for? Got the thin controller. I broke my fire bars on purpose, sir. I wanted to pay Peter Sam out. The thin controller paused. I see. He quickly rethought what he was going to say. Well, Sir Handel, he said sternly, thank you for owning up. If you promise to behave yourself, you shall be met. Oh, yes, sir, I, I will, sir. Very well, said the thing controller gravely. Later that day, Sir Handel was given a new set of firebirds. No one ever told him that the special sort which he always used had only been delivered that morning.